Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and yes, this is the first video of 2018 and for today's video, I decided why not to show you or uh, mention a few things about how you can slay or how you can, you know, make the best out of 2017 or you can have the best year of your life. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get started. So the first thing is I have broken down these into eight points and I'm just going to go just straight to the points. So the first thing is focus. This year you are getting a new start and you kind of like really have to focus on the things which you really need and you know, just get rid of the things which you don't really want just focus and spend time with yourself and just focus on what you really want just not because what others are doing um, I think that's really important because we see everyone around us and, and obviously in social media it's kind of like a boon and like a curse to us and we see all these things and all these people and we feel like okay I should do that maybe because you know someone else is doing that but no this year you really really have to focus on what you really want to do what you know shines your soul or excites you or like what's your purpose and like really focus on that thing and just go after it no matter what the second thing is look after your health i cannot tell you how important it is to look after your health i mean you will be like okay who is giving me health tips look at her but um i mean i'm not the best i know i'm not the best at giving health tips and all that stuff but i will say that looking after your health is really important and i know it's kind of like cliche like oh look after your health don't eat junk food um but i think it's like really important because i defi definitely have seen the changes in me and i'm not telling you to you know quit this quit that i mean it's on personal preferences but at least pay attention to what your body is telling you and be in a situation where you feel healthy and in a situation that you can do whatever you want because if you if your health is not proper um it's you cannot do the things which you want like you know example if you're sick and if you really want to go running you cannot do that and you cannot like go to work and do all that stuff so look after your health and this also includes like eating healthy sleeping on time which i need to concentrate on i need to put more effort into sleeping early and meditating practicing self-care and all that stuff because um i am not really good at those but i am trying i'm taking baby steps at a time to get to the path where i want to go and i know nothing happens overnight you, you just cannot gain or lose weight like overnight so yeah i mean that's happening and it also uh, takes into consideration that you have to plan what your um what's the word destination you want to go towards your health like how fit do you want to be or what what's your end goal and plan towards it and then just implement it nothing happens until and unless you don't implement it the third thing is be self-aware having self-awareness i think is the most important thing i've learned and um i cannot put into words it's it's just i cannot put into words but i just i just can say that being self-aware and knowing what you really want can literally change everything like literally change everything today if i am not i wasn't self-aware as how i am now i don't know where i would be i don't know what i would do in my life as in like career and all that stuff and i i don't know what i would see myself down the line in five to ten years you know what i mean and i feel like being self-aware is really most important and so crucial because um i mean you just cannot see yourself i mean i think we all are here for a purpose i know that's extremely cliche but i think we all have those talents and unique traits in ourselves which we you know need to highlight and show to the world and you know help others inspire others and make this world a better place and if you don't know what you're good at if you don't know what you really want to do in your life and uh, i think that will be like such a waste 
um, so I mean having self-awareness is really important so I mean finding self-awareness can be quite difficult because it took me a long time it took me years to know who I am and you know I haven't really known myself completely to be honest but I would say that um, meditation and journaling about yourself and you know literally paying attention to the things which excite you and paying attention to what what really your heart is telling you is enough and just go with it and I think that's this technique called as Ikigai in uh, Chinese or Japanese I'm sorry um, this technique called as Ikigai you can search about that and solve that to know like kind of find where your life purpose is and what you can do and um, yeah try that out so the next thing is know your priorities this is so freaking important if you want to achieve a goal of let's say if your priority is something like launching a business um, you know know your priorities today if you have a party to attend and then you have a business meeting you know with investors or whatever what are you gonna choose are you gonna go to the party or are you gonna attend the meeting know your priorities and just stick to them because if you want to achieve those goals so bad you have to make your end goal a priority so that you can achieve them faster see that's all linked to each other the fifth point is work harder I kid you not how much I praise and how much I talk about this point on my Instagram stories because I preach about it I praise it because I know the fruits of working harder for the thing which you want because let me tell you it's freaking amazing and I know in this world we are so like I don't know like I can say that we all are searching for shortcuts like okay how can I you know, get rich there are YouTube videos on how can I get rich how can I do this how can I do that quickly 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 or overnight and um, after watching these podcasts and videos from Gary V I don't know if you know him he is a freaking amazing entrepreneur in New York and uh, when I saw and I listened to his podcast I was shook let me tell you he is freaking amazing so uh, there are a few things which he said in his podcast were like nothing happens overnight it all takes tons and tons of efforts tons and tons of hard work and dedication and patience we all need to hear that and i will link obviously i'll link down the podcast and the videos down below so that you can see and change your mindset towards you know quick success overnight successes because they don't exist let me tell you they don't exist and no matter how much you try it's not gonna happen so instead of looking towards you know reaching your goal quickly you should focus on the long-term efforts and long-term goals and then take baby steps towards them because everything requires patience everything requires consistency and nothing happens overnight it all takes tons and tons of efforts work hard because there's no other way let me tell you and sorry if you are disappointed or kind of like oh offended I don't know but uh, I really don't think there is another, another way other than working hard you just have to hustle every single day repeat 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 and then the next thing is surround yourself with the people you love or surround yourself with the positive people okay so I cannot tell you this thing um, I had this shift and change of people in my life and as those people went away from my life and I had these few positive people in my life I immediately saw a change in you know everything I saw a change in my perspective I saw a change in my thinking and things started to change and I mean, like, I mean my things started to like grow, go up my graph was going up instead of going down so you know it's not that hard if you don't like someone or if you're just being friends or you know if you are in a toxic relation with someone and you feel like maybe you know they are just not good for you or maybe they are a bad influence in you just cut them off i know it is easy to say than do because i have been there i've done that to so many people i mean but 
you just have to do what you have to do if you d- really don't like the person why are you even having them in your life you are defined by the five people you s- who sa- who are you with you know like i have these five people in my life with whom i spend every day of my life i am defined because of them like their habits their traits their things all of our traits blend into each other and then i am kind of like known as a person if you are positive and if you say positive things every single day law of attraction will happen manifestation will happen magic will happen and you will see everything is just going up okay and the seventh thing is be grateful spend time each day with positive note and see good in everything i know this is kind of like a uh, what i mean i know sometimes we just go into this rut and be like oh my god why just me why just these things happen to me and all the blah, blah 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 i know that's that's completely like understandable that's human nature um but i have been into situations and i have seen people into literally like i don't know like ridiculous situations and they were basically talking positive about this really really ridiculous bad thing happened to them it how can they you know what i'm saying like how can they look at life in a good way when the worst of the worst thing happened to them you know so yeah look as the positive side and let me tell you things will change and the last thing is have faith i say this every single time even i think i say this so many times on my instagram and it is have faith or believe in the higher power believe in the universe believe in the god and all those things which you really want will come because you know like patience is something which we all have to learn and really pay attention and have this you know graved in our heads like everything doesn't happen overnight nothing is going to come quickly and what lasts won't come easy what comes easy won't last so yeah keep that in your mind and just have faith and be like yes i am working hard for what i want i am going to achieve this i know i am going to achieve this i have the faith and the you know believe in the universe in the god in the higher power that it is going to come to me because i deserve it i have worked for it and then when you let go all these things will come to you so have faith faith having faith is just just the important thing and faith it till you make it get it that was same okay yeah anyway so yeah those were the eight things which you can do to make your 20s 18 a better year for yourself and this is how you can really live a positive uplifting life and yeah these are a few things which i practice or i do really follow by myself and they have been a really good change in my life i have seen so many changes because of these things i hope you are having a really amazing 2018 so far and i hope you are meeting new people and doing the things which you really love So yeah thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel and like this video it really helps me and yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next saturday i upload videos every single saturday till then bye